Hi, I'm Bob Klotz here at Lincoln Park, former encampment of Occupy Portland. And you may be wondering why on April the 2nd I am here with a Hawaiian shirt, and I'll tell you about that in another segment, but at the moment we're here uh, to chat about our environment on Occupy Main TV. Now I'm going to show you a few pictures, before and after. It's pretty ugly, really. Pre- and post-operative, essentially, except that this degree of surgery really doesn't have to occur. If a medical person left your body scarred like this, it would be malpractice to the most severe degree. Try to guess what they are. I'm sure they look familiar, but for many, if not most, it's not well known because it's intentionally hidden, sort of like the caskets of the war dead coming into Dover, Delaware during the Bush administration. If you can't see it, it doesn't exist, and no one really has any responsibility. And it tends to be in the land of the oppressed and the voiceless, the economically and politically suppressed areas of the country, but full of natural resources and often few people. Yep, places like Maine. The land where people can't drink their water or they have to watch their children get sick and die and where people are desperate for work so they'll take anything for some semblance of survival. They'll even vote for the guy who's going to bring this all down on their heads. How can they not when they're told it's about jobs and cheaper gas and those socialists taking away your rights and charging you more taxes? All the while, that same guy is taking away your rights and your protections and putting the money in his pocket here in the land of opportunity. And it's been going on forever, and it needs to stop. These are pictures of the tar sands productions areas the areas that the east-west highway is going to go through and what it could look like, and the reality of mountaintop removal. Surprisingly similar in appearance because they are, at the core, exactly the same thing, destruction of our environment and us for profit. Plain and simple. And I don't like using this term, but it applies. This is what the current economic rape of our state will end up looking like. The wheels are in motion for the state to be cut open and gutted for business, with most of that business not even being in our country. Maine open for business is our natural resources going out of state to Canada, China, and other places overseas. This is the reality. With this guy, the 30% governor of Maine, representing far less than 30% of Mainers, and this being the closest the common man is going to get to getting the attention of the president, unless you have $5,000 to be in the same room with him, it can feel hopeless. But there is hope. 